Hi, Geminis. So, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need is going to be down in the comment section listed below. You guys, I am inclined to do a chakra card for you guys. I don't know why, but this is something that you guys probably needed to hear or see. I am going to pull it, but I am going to upload it on my um, Instagram page for those of you who want to get the full uh, chakra card meaning. Please go to my um, Instagram. Everything that you need is going to be in the comment section to get there. I'm just going to let you know what chakra you need to work on. And then, you know, if you want the full detail, it'll be there. All right. So, chakra that you guys need to work on. Seven chakra, crown chakra, selflessness. I am kind to all. I am aware that everything I do or say affects others. Okay. So that is the chakra that you're going to have to be paying attention to this weekend, you guys. Being aware of how you how you are perceived by others. Being careful about how you come off, what you say, what you do, what you don't say, what you don't do. Okay, oh. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys are... are... <sighs> Calm down. So we always are the nurturers. We are the providers. We are getting to the back. We are making sure everything is stable. We're making sure everything that we care about is continuing to be on a growing pattern. Okay? I feel like there's someone that you're not speaking to. Could be another Gemini or somebody who you made a decision about that you didn't really need to really have this person in your environment anymore. Could have been a soulmate. Let's see why. I feel like it's because you started getting attention from other people. And maybe this person just is not working, you know, for you or with you anymore. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like you ended something with this person and you started to venture off elsewhere with different people. You may be dating right now. But I feel like you're almost happy that you're ending a cycle. It needed to end. Yeah. For your own happiness. This person takes a toll on you, and I feel like it might have hardened you a bit. You may be coming off a bit cold and detached, which is Gemini's trait, especially after being hurt or when we have to think logically about something. If we're thinking about it from a logical standpoint, the emotions are off. And, and I feel like that's what happened here. You thought about your stability. You thought about what you wanted in life. You thought about what you wanted moving forward and how the fuck it can make you happy. It was like you had to really think about this or this is what you're going to be doing this weekend. All right. So let's see how people are perceiving you. How are people perceiving Gemini this weekend? As being happy, but guarding or guarding your happiness. Maybe they feel like you're being very secretive. Because there's some type of, um, there's some, there's something going on in the background that you're, you're hiding from people. And I feel like it may be some type of emotions that you're still harboring for someone. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like you're hard, you're you're kind of guarded about your happiness now. That's what's happening here. Gemini's are not going to just let anybody in anymore. 
And I feel like that's a slippery slope away from being lonely. Because it's like, yeah, we're single. And, and we're peaceful, content with being single. Because, it's again, it's peaceful. However, it's lonely waiting. I got all these, all this passion. Three wands of passion. Nobody to share it with. But you're not letting people know that. You may be coming off really strong. Maybe even the people that you date, motherfuckers feel like, oh, she got it all, she fine. They may look at you like somebody that's dating that has a whole bunch of options, but you don't. It's like, mm -mm. you probably have a few options, but you don't care about them. Yeah, because you feel like truth is truth is royalty it's like you feel like you want somebody who's telling you the truth you're waiting for somebody to come in who just fits all the boxes okay i feel like you're waiting for somebody who's who's cut from a different cloth okay i'm on to something there sirens you're waiting for somebody who's going to be real with you Yeah, and it's like, you it, it, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or this can be somebody new that's coming in. But I feel like there is going to be someone coming in, but they're taking their time. That's going to be very, very useful in this sense, okay? I feel like right now, both of you guys may be holding back from really having some type of honest communication or maybe even meeting up. Yeah, because I feel like right now you're still in this in this period of not knowing whether or not you should take this cup or not. Maybe this person hasn't really offered too much emotions or too much truth. You don't know this person yet, so you're not really ready ready to open up because you're afraid of somebody coming in and fucking up this this happy place that you're in, this contentment. Okay. So let's see what this a possible love interest could be looking at or feeling about you right now. Any possible, anybody who is dealing with a new person or a new person that's going to be coming in. How is this person going to be viewing Gemini? New people? Oh, new people. Wow. <laughs> if you're dealing with a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a new one, great potential. Great potential. And I feel like this is something that's just starting off. You guys are talking a little bit. This is them, though. It's like you showing them a little bit of affection. Maybe y'all are having, like, text messages, talking on social media. You're thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> but you ain't let this fish hop out the cup yet, all right? But this is you standing here. It's like they're in your emotions you you liking them a little bit but the potential between you two is massive okay it doesn't have to necessarily be a cancer pisces or scorpio but somebody who is new or a new person that's going to be coming in is going to be of some great value when it comes to love okay let's see how an old person may be feeling for those of you who are still intact entangled whatever with a old person let's see how this old person is viewing you like a fucking sex symbol. However, they also know that you stable as fuck. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a um, Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. This person is looking at you like somebody who they still have a lot of passion for. Somebody who is working on themselves. This person may be waiting to see like what you're going to do. Or waiting to see if you're going to you know, come forward or say something to them. Or if you want to deal with them. Or if you still have passion. So, yeah. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. We're already at 10 minutes. <laughs> so, I see you dating, Gemini. I see you dating and taking your time and chilling until somebody comes along that's really going to tickle your fancy. The right one with the Justice car. You're going to do what's right for you. Okay, and you're not going to be really moved until somebody moves you. Okay, I feel that. Like that's okay. Okay, so, Spirit, tell me what advice you have. What advice do you have for Gemini's moving forward? Take your time, okay? Go out and party. Get to know people. You don't have to go with the first offer that presents itself. Have fun. 
okay gemini's and when something stable comes along you'll know it all right i feel like something is coming along for you with the ten of pentacles being the last card for advice that's like really fucking good okay i just be on the lookout but enjoy yourselves right now don't be closed off to the options because you're gonna lose if you do all right for those of you who will be like i don't have nobody i didn't have nobody in 15 20 years well i suggest you go out and start having fun all right shit is going down with your job reevaluate change your perspective or fucking quit all right that's that on that. Have a good one.